Hi everybody, I'm Nick Justician. I teach virtual production at Drexel University. I'm here at SIGGRAPH 2022, and this is the ETC booth. And here I've got Neil from OptiTrack, and you're uh, showing us something new from OptiTrack that just came out recently. Uh, what is this thing on top of the camera? So that's the Cinepuck. So it's our first purpose-built tool for virtual production and uh, set extension. Uh, it enables uh, cinema camera tracking from massive range. So on your, your largest imaginable uh, virtual production stages, we can track the camera. Uh, with a you know really modest number of optical cameras mounted to the truss, and then you know additionally incredibly good in small spaces like the one right here. Yeah, one of the things I noticed too is that the mocap cameras that you have installed here don't have the traditional ring of lights around them. Um, I think there's some advantages in terms of accessibility there. Uh, yeah. you know, tell me about what's going cost on there. Is, cost is a big one. These cameras are $1,600 each, so uh, you know this is only six cameras tracking this space, uh, 20 by 20, and. Um, and so that, you know, you easily have a volume under $12,000. Uh, if we, or just around there, um, you could have a more mo uh, robust system with 12 cameras and still be like around 25K. The Cinepuck's $3,000, so under 30K, and you have an incredibly good tracking system. Um, yeah, and you're right, there's no infrared LEDs, so we're not tracking passive markers today. We're tracking in, uh, active infrared markers, which are, there's eight of them on the Cinepuck in different parts. Um, these are illuminating on their own, and our cameras are seeing that light from this, from the LEDs. In addition, the LEDs are pulsing at a rate that um, in uniquely labels each marker so that um, we only need to see one marker at any given time to be able to track the position of this object. And then I think there's another thing going on here with the puck in that it's not just the LEDs that we're exactly. tracking. Because I have at my studio the, the traditional IR pucks. Mm -hmm. um, they, they have a certain, you know, not there's, there are drawbacks to those, right? So what's going on here with the Cinepuck that's over and above that? So there's a uh, really, really industrial grade IMU inside of the Cinepuck. So it, uh, and yeah, exactly. And um, only actually 30% of the tracking in the Cinepuck in default settings is the optical tracking. 70% uh, is the IMU tracking. So in fact, uh, where I said you could get away with only tracking one, you can actually get away with tracking zero uh, for periods of time, uh, allowing you to have the camera completely flip over or um, you know, maybe move through a car process where you're flying inside the car, or um, you know, just set pieces or things getting in the way. You overcome occlusion, um, allowing you know, producers or just the, the whole process of film production to go a lot faster, not having to move the motion capture system as many times. So, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah, I, I've been on plenty of shoots where the uh, camera tracks beautifully right up until the crew picks it up and you've got a focus puller and you've got an AD and, and it, it just you know starts to occlude everything so you can actually uh, use the OptiTrack opticals to you know initialize and, and ground truth it but if all of those are occluded you can't see the optical trackers at all this is switching essentially to IMU exactly yep and you, that, that's a sliding scale from how much percentage of the tracking is IMU versus optical and you can you can choose that based on what is what works best for you so and if I remember correctly there's multiple versions of your tracking software motive uh, does this work with both versions or do you need one versus it's the other so there's a tracker versus body so if you're just wanting to track rigid bodies which is what in the mocap world that's what this would be a rigid object um, you just save some money uh, motive body is where you're tracking full skeletons so if you wanted to track skeletons in addition to this you would buy that version um, but just for you know if just in indie studios or just truly you would never track bodies you can save some money with motive tracker which is what you would use with this so you can really put together a very, very inexpensive, relatively speaking, uh, optical camera tracking system by getting the the non-ring. What, what is the name of this camera model? It's called the Slim 13. Okay, so using Slim 13 cameras and the Cinepuck, you could get a really entry-level optical, really high-quality tracking system. Now, what if I'm a virtual production studio? I definitely need a solution for my camera tracking. I'm thinking about maybe in the future doing motion capture full body. Uh, what would I need to think about as I'm like starting to spec out uh, what I acquire for that kind of setting? You would need uh, cameras with passive tracking capability to do like traditional motion capture with the markers on the suits. So uh, a camera upgrade at that point would probably be something you would go for unless you had an active suit, which people are developing. Um, but you know the, the beauty of our cameras is they're plug and play. You just you would unscrew that camera, you get your new Prime 13 with the active uh, IR LEDs, and attach that and plug it right back in, and you're you're up and running again. Um, just with so you know, and then you can use these for something else, a smaller stage, or just add them to be additional components to track the Cinepuck if you have a you know as your space grows. 
So then I guess another advantage if a uh, studio were to get the Prime 13s or uh, one of the other Prime models um, is that with the tracker version of Motive, they could still track other objects, even just using reflective markers. They don't have to get exactly. multiple active markers, so exactly. you could exactly. track yeah. other objects and props and such. Um, great. Is there anything else anyone should know? I just think it's uh, it's it's really cool. I, you know, hopefully you get a chance to just move a camera yourself and just see how smooth it is. Um, and we really like how durable this is. Uh, you can drop it. It's got a battery that lasts for 14 hours. Uh, the wireless range on it is incredible. It's a massive boost over the existing active pucks you may have used. Um, and uh, you know, just the, the beauty of being able to say, I want to track another camera, you just, instead of having to buy a whole other MOSA system or Skype system, uh, you buy another $3,000 Cinepuck and then you're up and running. So, Fantastic. Thank you so much, Neil. I really appreciate the chat. Yep. Thank you all for joining. Until next time, have fun.